Hi dear students, welcome to Candle IAS. In this lecture, we will discuss about pneumonia. Pneumonia is an acute respiratory infection which affects the lungs. So why is it in news now? On November 12th, we observe the World Pneumonia Day. Since 2009, at the global level, we are observing the World Pneumonia Day with the goal of raising awareness about pneumonia, especially among new children who are affected with pneumonia. That is, our goal is to reduce the number of children who are getting infected by pneumonia worldwide. So with that intention, we have been observing World Pneumonia Day since 2009. And the theme of this year has been championing to fight to stop pneumonia. That is championing the fight to stop pneumonia. So as I already told you, since 2009, we have been observing the World Pneumonia Day every year on November 12th. And the initiative was called Stop Pneumonia. So initially, it was a global coalition against child pneumonia especially. Later in, the World Health Organization and the UNICEF also introduced an integrated plan to prevent and control this disease globally. Also, the COVID-9 is another factor that caused severe damage to the lungs. Hence, observing of this day has been gaining much more significance. We all know that COVID had a very huge impact on the lungs. So the ultimate goal is to aim for zero deaths by pneumonia by the time we reach 2030. According to WHO, that is the World Health Organization, pneumonia is a form of acute respiratory infection that affects the lungs. We know that the lungs are ultimately, that is the basic unit or the smallest cells of the lungs are the alveoli. That is the smallest unit of the lungs are the alveoli, isn't it? Alveoli are also called as air sacs. So in normal people, when we breathe, these alveoli get filled with air. Whereas in patients who are suffering from pneumonia, the alveoli or the air sacs get filled with pus and fluid because of which breathing becomes very difficult and also it becomes painful. So because of this, there is reduced oxygen intake by the people who are suffering from pneumonia. Okay, so according to, w, according to WHO, pneumonia is an acute respiratory infection which affects the lungs wherein the alveoli, which is also called as the air sacs, are filled with pus and fluid and thereby the intake of oxygen is reduced. Also, the breathing is very painful and difficult. So, what are the causes of pneumonia? Pneumonia is caused by bacteria, virus and fungi as well. Okay, so pneumonia can be caused by bacteria as well as virus as well as fungi. The streptococcus pneumoniae is responsible or is one of the bacterial agent which causes pneumonia. And Haemophilus influenzae type B is the virus which causes viral pneumonia and same is the case with respiratory syncytial virus. This is also one of the virus which causes viral pneumonia. And in children who are being infected by HIV, very commonly you can find them being infected by a bacterium called as pneumonocystis genovaci. So this is the bacteria which usually is found to have infected the kids who have been infected by HIV. Now moving on to the transmission of this disease called as pneumonia. So when patients who are affected by pneumonia 
when they cough or sneeze the air droplets are released through their nose and mouth and when we inhale these air droplets and they reach the lung and they cause infection we can also get this disease same is the case when they cough or sneeze and with those air droplets you know air droplets or the uh, tiny dro droplets which have been deposited on their hands if they touch any surface and we come in contact with that surface and touch or come in contact with our nose and mouth and we inhale the pathogenic microorganisms then we can also get the infection okay so pneumonia is also transmitted through blood especially during and shortly after the birth that is from the mother to the child during the childbirth it can get transmitted so these are the ways in which the pathogenic organisms which cause pneumonia can be transmitted next moving on to the common symptoms of pneumonia so a patient who is suffering from pneumonia will have severe cough especially dry cough and many times you can also find the discharge of brown or even blood smeared sputum which we call it as phlegm right so that is very commonly observed also they will have difficulty in breathing even during sleeping or even when they are coughing they will have difficulty in breathing they will you can also find rapid heart beat that is the heart will beat very fast a high temperature sweating and shivering loss of appetite and they will have severe chest pain even while breathing and coughing so these are the most common symptoms which we can observe in patients suffering from pneumonia as per the national family health survey the prevalence of pneumonia including bronchitis in children under the 3 years of age was 2.7% in 2015-16 so what are the steps which have been undertaken to reduce the incidence or reduce the number of cases or reduce the occurrence of this disease called as pneumonia as i already told you earlier itself that we are observing the world pneumonia day every year with the intention of raising awareness and we are also targeting zero deaths by 2030 so what are the steps taken by our indian government in this perspective the steps taken by indian government include the universal immunization program we know that universal immunization program is one of the largest healthcare programs and it does not include pneumonia alone it includes several other diseases that is it focuses on giving vaccination to prevent various other diseases including pneumonia so these diseases are measles haemophilus influenzae and pneumococcal vaccine so the intention is to provide vaccination so as to prevent the occurrence of this diseases with this intention we have introduced pneumococcal conjugate vaccine in a phased manner since 2017 under the universal immunization program i hope you got a clear picture of what pneumonia is what are the causes how it gets transmitted and what is the purpose of observing the world pneumonia day and what are the various measures undertaken by india similarly we will be discussing many more topics of current relevance with respect to the preparation of the upsc examination for more such videos you can like comment share and subscribe until i meet you in the next lecture take care have a good day thank you